I started off as kind of any British lad does and starts playing football or soccer and then any Welsh does, lad does is play rugby. So I started off with kind of the team sports atmosphere and then it wasn't until I got to high school really where um, kind of the coach there saw that I could run okay over the middle distance and then as I got older the distance started creeping up as my age started creeping up. One year it's kind of just decided to focus just on the running and in 2013 I think it was I ended up making the, the, the British team at the World Cross and since then it just kind of just kind of took off for me. It all started when I uh, made the UB team at World Cross and then all of a sudden started getting contacted by various coaches and I was pretty pretty oblivious to kind of America and knowing the difference between the states and the different universities and so really I kind of I've always uh, valued kind of family values and that's always like something that my parents already always instilled in me. I just had that feeling straight away from Bradley, just this kind of everyone, just this family vibe and once I got here that was verified and the major turning point was I spoke to Tony Hoochin who at the time was an Alabama coach but they only had a women's team and he was like hey I think you should really consider coming to Bradley and then from that point on just yeah speak to the coaches and other team members and the rest is history. So the first time I met Harry was actually a pretty, pretty funny experience. So it's a, it's a long daunting journey from Cardiff to Peoria. I knew how the flight was and I knew how like tiring it was. It's fair to say I was pretty jet lagged, exhausted. So uh, should make a good impression. And then all of a sudden I get off this bus and here comes another British lad running over to me. He, he has like his Welsh, Welsh top on and just beaming smile like hey how's it going and I was just kind of like who, who is this kid and then next thing I find out we're sharing a room and from that mo moment we kind of just we kind of just clicked it's, it's hard not to when you come to a foreign place it's nice to have a little bit of home here and that's what Harren was at the start and then from that point we just we had the same goals. We wanted to make an impact on the team from the start one of our big ones was making nationals as a team. My hardest part of my time it was definitely freshman year, uh, first semester. I was a pretty low mileage guy when I came out and you know traveled quite a bit but not for kind of the duration that uh, I was out here for and I got injured pretty pretty quickly when I came out here. You could see that he was like worried that every, like his choice of coming out to America wasn't the best for him and then he kind of struggled getting back, his leg wasn't getting much better for a while. I kind of felt this pressure and the need to perform and kind of wanted to, you know, prove why I've got this scholarship and why I came out here. And mentally just not having, not doing that and not proving my worth was, was really difficult. And once he started competing again, he showed that what he was all about. Next thing I know, you know, people are just kind of picking me up and just helping me get through it and like he grinded it out at conference when we lost that f freshman year but then he came back at regionals and was like the third guy on the team even though he hadn't even ran all year and once he got rid of that injury his training just took on the next level and he broke 14 that freshman year on the track competed with Muscari and in the indoors to the point now where hopefully I, 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 look for, I look forward to meeting the freshmen and I hope I can do the same for them that the seniors did for me when I was a freshman. This time about a year and a half ago, I suppose, when me and Coach Gorson were speaking, never really thought about redshirting. We kind of just started speaking, and you're like, oh yeah, this could be this, this could be, like, we could do this at this year. He saw how it fed into indoor and outdoor as well, so he saw it as a, an opportunity to get his masters to stay in the US for another year or longer. And then I think the more we spoke, the more we both realized that, like, wow, like, if all works out, like, two years' time, we could have a a nationally ranked team. I feel as if in running you always set goals, you always imagine how a day is going to go. When you imagine it you always have a good outcome and very rarely does that actually happen. I knew both teams were dialed in, I knew we had an amazing team meeting with the men the day before. It was almost emotional in a way for them and for our staff. You know, running, you have these performances sometimes where they just can't explain it and you just, you just gnaw on your day. And unfortunately for me, that was regionals. Normally when he has a bad day, he has a bad day, but he turned 
could have been a bad day and uh, a really fine performance, a like gritty performance in where he finished. But luckily for me, the other four lads were having their days. At the end, not knowing, it was a really gut and experience at the same time. So I was like, oh, like, I didn't want to be the reason we weren't going. But then, incredibly proud, and now it's just an incredible sense of achievement. Runner up in the men's race today with 102 points, Bradley. <laughs> Initially, it was just him. He was like the focal point of the team. In the last year, you know, it's been nice. He set the bar, and then we had your, you know, your Gagneys, your, your Chase Coffees, your, your Alec, Eric Delvos, your Taylor Floyd Muse, who have risen to the challenge and, and got on his levels. A lot of that goes down to Michael and, and the, the quality and, and the bar that he set initially. I don't think we would have had those level of athletes if it hadn't been for Michael. He has always had that like family feel. Like once you live with him, like he knows how it is coming over the, to Bradley. So you can always talk to him because he'll probably be feeling the same as you are. I like to sum up my career so far. It's kind of just a stepping stones, really. I saw the potential of this team, and I just wanted to kind of progress through that. So as I came in, wasn't necessarily a verbal leader, but I think I was a leader in terms of my attitude and performances and kind of set records early on. And then with that, you know, I'm just training with everyone else, not doing anything different. And I'd like to think that inspired others to the point now where we all just kind of step up. That's what the Bradley's whole been about. Just everyone just come here and just lay a different bar, lay a bar to the point where this year we just at the top of it and we were able to just take that leap off and kind of make the national breach, I guess. <laughs>